The magnetic storm that lit up the night sky gave millions around the world quite a show. Some saw greens and purples, while others saw pinks and reds. So how? From Seattle in the Northwest to across the world in Spain and right back here in Minnesota, the human collective looked north for a night as a massive light show performed for one of its largest audiences ever. This is the strongest storm that has been on record since at least 2003, if not longer than that. Sally Brummel is the planetarium manager at the Bell Museum. What causes the Aurora Borealis? The aurora is caused by interaction of energetic particles that have erupted from the sun um, and colliding with molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. Those energetic particles from the sun, known as electrons, first hit the Earth's magnetic field, then dive toward the poles in our atmosphere. They then interact with particles like oxygen or nitrogen, exciting them and causing an energy burst of light. When it happens on a massive scale, it's bright enough for people to see. It's really kind of fun because looking at the colors tells you a bit about the height of the aurora, as well as what type of particles you have in the atmosphere. Alexa Halford is a NASA researcher. So at different altitudes, you're going to have um, those electrons hitting, well, not really hitting, but interacting with those different types of atmospheric particles. Oxygen gives off green colors, the most common, but also red. The people who could see the red, uh, those are typically people who are farther south, more toward the equator. A mix of nitrogen and oxygen can produce purple or yellow. Nitrogen alone produces blue, the rarest color of them all. Minnesota happened to be effectively right under where most of the action was happening. So you get to see all the colors. No matter how rare the color, advancements in technology are unlocking these light shows true potential. It's an exciting time because like cameras have never been this fast or this sensitive. Nor has the sun been this active. Halford says not to be surprised if another Aurora Borealis greets people in Minnesota and Wisconsin next month. Stay tuned, keep the eye on the sky and you know. With photojournalist Jose Pasqual. Enjoy the dancing lights. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Several planets in the solar system experience Aurora Borealis, but a few that don't include Venus and Mercury. That's because they're either missing an atmosphere or magnetic field.